We were outfitting the Chickshaw today with some mechanical components so that we can get the door on it automated. It's an exceptionally windy day out, so I had to go in the sheep shelter so I can talk to you guys for a minute. I wanted to go over a couple of concerns that were raised in the comment section below our last video. If you haven't seen our last video where we introduce the concept of the automation, we go over the different parts involved in it and why we're doing it, check out the link below in the video description. Also in the upper right hand corner of your screen, you can click on that link as well. Check out that video before you watch this video. We got several questions in our last video about the automation of the Chickshaw. A few of the most prevalent comments were about the sensitivity of the photo sensor. Folks were asking if there would be issues if we got some clouds that would go by, would that trigger the door to close on the Chickshaw? Folks mentioned that we might need to Folks mentioned that we might need to have an audible alarm of some kind go off before the door starts closing so the chickens will know it's time to go in, the door's gonna close. And then we also got a question, is there a manual override? Is there a way to prevent the door from opening in the morning in case I need to move the chick shaw? Clara. Clara saw me over here, she wants to come say hi. I bet she wants some milk too. Hi, honey. Hello, Clara. Hello. Do you need some milk? You wanna go get some milk? That would be a yes. All right, Clara's all taken care of now. So getting back to the photo sensor, these were all really good questions and concerns. These were all questions I had for Charlie when we were designing the system. The sensitivity of the photo sensor is completely adjustable. You can program it to be set unmistakably dark, meaning that just some clouds going overhead or a thunderstorm, something like that, is not going to trigger the door to close. It's got to be really dark for that to happen. Also, conversely, the same can be set for what activates for the door to open. It can be adjusted to where there has to be X amount of light for it to trigger it to go open. Then there's the concern of some of the birds being stranded, some of them being left behind, the doors closing and the birds didn't get any kind of audible cue to know to go in. This is really not a concern. This, the birds will start going in at dusk and the door theoretically will be programmed to close when it's darker than dusk, meaning when, when there's no sunlight left at all, no ambient light in the sky, it will then trigger to close, and by then, theoretically, all the chickens should have gone into the chick saw. So again, theoretically, there won't be any chickens left behind. Aww, look. Look. Thus, there won't be a need for an audible alarm. As for the manual override, yes, this is a very simple thing to do. The night before I need to move the chick saw, all I need to do is take the lead off of the battery. Just detach the battery, then the door is not going to open in the morning. So I'll move the chicken, set up the fencing, and then just reconnect the battery, at, at which point the door will activate and open, and the chickens will leave. I think that about covers the major reoccurring themes to the questions I was getting. So with that, let's go install the system in the Chickshaw.
so it's smoking. I can't relate to you right now just how disappointed I am. We were in the final step of connecting the wires here and having a functional automated chickshaw door and it literally went up in smoke. This is our 12 volt to 5 volt converter here. So this connects to our 12 volt battery and pushes 5 volt out the other side for our relay switch here. So that was hooked to the battery directly. And also there's a red wire here and a black there that go directly to the 12 volt battery. The yellows go to the actuator. I went to grab these yellow wires here to pull them apart and attach the actuator to them and they accidentally touched and when they touched it just went up in a big puff, um, really nasty smoke and it's all, and it burns all these wires out. There was another question about whether the actuator would keep enough force on this to prevent a predator from pushing in and it absolutely does. It's rock solid. It, you can't push down on it and you can't pull up on it. It's not going anywhere. It just so happens that my dad is a master with electronics and circuit boards, etc. So the plan going forward is tomorrow I'm going to be bringing the box down to him. He's going to take a look at it, see if the Arduino is fried. If it is, we're just going to have to start over from scratch and, and rebuild that. If it's not, then he can help me rewire it and we should be able to have this thing up and running by tomorrow. signs of heat or damage. Can I see? Sure. So what we're looking for, we're looking for smoke marks or dark black like charred areas and every all the components, all the surface mounted components look good. The diodes, the inverters, everything's you know um, physically looking good. A component can still be bad you know and but I don't see any damage to the board at all, physically. So our control box is theoretically repaired. I got the battery set back out here. Once I get it all connected, since we still have some daylight left, the actuator should start extending and open the door. This time I have butt connectors on the ends of my yellow wires here that go to the actuator. So we're much less likely to have an incident. When I attach this wire, it should work. Tomorrow I'm going to build a little box to put around this to keep that secure so it doesn't fall off, get it mounted on there right, get these wires tucked away so we don't have birds pecking at them. For tonight I'm just putting a milk crate on it. I'm closing up the main door on the chickshaw and I'm going to check back after dusk and hopefully all the birds will be in and the door will be closed. We'll see.
just after sunset now. All the chickens have gone in, but the door has not retracted yet. You can still see it hanging down there. So we'll wait till it gets a little darker and check back. Check this out guys. The door is open and the birds are out. Homestead success. We are outfitting the chickshaw today with some like, whoa. It is a windy day.